Another month has gone by, so it's time to reflect on everything that happened over the past month, talk about goals and reset for the month ahead. And if you have not been here before and seen one of my monthly reset videos, I also like to talk a little bit about decluttering as well as products that I was able to use up over the month and therefore declutter out of my home, specifically bathroom products and products for home and cleaning, that type of stuff. So I will share a few of those with you, but before we get into the products that I used up in decluttering, I want to talk about in general how the month of March went as well as some of the things that are coming up in the month of April. So March, I'm actually just getting over being pretty sick. I had like 102 fever for three days. I didn't take off work because I work from home. Luckily, I was able to rely on some other people at work and didn't have super, super crazy days on the days that I was feeling really, really sick. I did some work from bed, which is also nice working from home. I didn't exercise. I usually in the evenings after work get a whole bunch of stuff done for my business. I do a lot of house cleaning and other tasks. If you've seen some of my day in the life videos, you know that there's a lot that I do after work and sometimes even before work if I can. That didn't happen for a week, a week and a half of March. So I just kind of feel like I fell behind on a lot of the goals that I had. So moving in into April, I'm really going to try and focus on just some daily habits again and get really back into the basics. I'm finally feeling better. So it's a great time for me to reset and restart with that goal for the month of April. So I think to do that, I'm going to really focus on using some habit trackers and just making the most out of my day. I have a couple of daily and weekly planner pads I actually sell on my website that I developed because they're things that help me to plan out my day and week. So I'm going to really buckle down, use those, track those basic habits and kind of find a few key priorities that I want to make sure I'm getting done each and every day. And I would encourage you to maybe make that one of your goals as well. So if it feels like it's aligning for you and something that you want to work on in April, my goals may not be your daily goals. My goals could be related to social media for my business or if you are struggling to make your bed, put that on the list, or there's some other cleaning tasks that you wanna put on your list. Maybe it's personal fitness, anything like that. Having a small habit tracker is really nice. But beyond that, the month of March was really nice. We didn't have too much going on. I didn't do any traveling, which was lovely. Always good to have one of those months. And April is gonna be a little bit of the opposite. I have two of my college friends coming in town. I am so lucky that I have really great college and high school friends. And after I've moved to Nebraska and didn't really know anybody, I was really worried about making friends here, which I am still kind of struggling to do. It's really difficult when you work from home. Owen's not old enough that we're not doing that many activities where I'm meeting other mom friends that way. I just don't get out of the house that often. So I probably need to put myself out there a little bit more and find other ways to make friends. But the great connections that I have, the long distance friendships, I have had, this is the third trip that I have friends that are flying in specifically to spend like a long weekend with me and stay at my house and we can explore Omaha together. One of them just had a baby a little while back. So she's gonna be about six months when they come to visit, which will be really fun. I think we're gonna do some fun activity for the kids cook some dinners at home, maybe go out to brunch one day. So I'm very excited for that. I also have an impromptu work trip coming up next week. That was out of the blue. They asked me last week if I wanted to go and fly into New York where my company is headquartered and spend literally one night there. They just wanted to have dinner with me and work for half a day in the office. And I haven't met anybody from my new company in person yet. And I started working there right after Thanksgiving. So I'm very excited to meet people. It will be hard to leave Owen and leave Jim, but it's also great to have a little bit of me time. The flight's kind of long and early, but I can also use it to get a little bit of work and have some alone time, which I don't get a lot of in general. I also have a trip that I have at the 
end of the month where we are going to visit my family in California and have a friend who decided to last minute schedule a bachelorette trip in Arizona. So I think I am going to make the quick drive. I say quick, but maybe, I think it's maybe four hours or so. And I am going to drive over to her impromptu bachelorette party for maybe a day or two and then drive back to California, spend another day in California with my family and then fly back with Jim and Owen. So there are three really busy weekends or trips that I have in April, which always eats up a bit of time, throws everything off schedule a bit. So with my goal of focusing on daily habits, I really, really want to hit it hard on the days that I am in town and make sure I hit those goals and hit those habits because I'm going to have so many days that are going to need to be a little bit more flexible, either because I have people here in my home, which I basically count as like I'm not here or days that I'm traveling. So those are almost like blackout dates on my calendar. The other goal, if you did watch my last monthly reset video that I had was to make really intentional purchases. Two months prior to that, I was trying to do a no spend month. Then the month after that, I was just trying to reduce my spending a lot. And then again, this past month of March, I was trying to flip it a bit and do some really intentional purchases just because we moved into our house well over a year ago at this point and there are still so many places that we haven't really made the effort to pull it together and that's specifically where I wanted to make some of those intentional purchases. I'm thinking even in this bedroom there's literally still holes in the wall where they used to have artwork and we haven't had any artwork put up in our bedroom so that's probably still something I need to address, both fixing the holes in the walls, as well as getting some artwork for here. This wasn't one of the spaces that I was focused on, but I made great progress this past month. We bought the exercise bench that I mentioned in the last video. We found artwork for our living room. I got some decor for the top of the entertainment unit in the living room. I got new throw pillows because I was using throw pillows that were with the bedding set that I got just on our living room couch for again over a year now. And I'm starting to feel so much better about how the house is looking. We also got a new centerpiece for the dining room table. Just a lot of stuff to really make the house come together. We also got a lamp for the guest room and a table lamp combo thing in the guest room. I got a clock to go in there, lots and lots of things. So I think I want that to continue to roll over to the next month. I don't have as many large purchases that I feel like I need to pull the trigger on next month. I can probably take a bit of a break of that, but more of the putting the house together concept I really wanna work on. So. I think we should probably make some phone calls for a contractor. We had a pipe burst around Christmas and we need to replace flooring or carpeting in one of the rooms and the baseboards need to be put back on. We have our garage, a whole wall was ripped out. So we need to find somebody to come back in here and fix that. Some cabinets in our laundry room because that's where the pipe bursts. So starting to make plans to get that stuff back in order because again, that was at the end of December that that happened and we're moving into April. So it's been way too long and that is gonna be one of the goals of continuing to get the house together. Luckily, most of that is gonna be covered by insurance. So it's not necessarily the same goal as the previous month of spending money to get things together, but I'm hoping we'll have the overall same effect and feeling of getting the house to a place that I want it to be. A lot of times a house is kind of a never ending ongoing process and project. I'm sure if you've lived in your house for a while, you may feel the same way that there's always things that you can update and change. But especially because we're still newer to our house, I want to get to a point where I at least feel like I have the base furniture that needs to be in every room and the base artwork that needs to be in every room and all of that stuff. That's probably going to be one of my main goals as well as the habit tracking that I mentioned. And that's probably it that I'm going to focus on for personal goals. I also always have some business goals and I think that is just going to be catching back up. I fell behind a little bit and I felt like I'm constantly trying to just 
get things ready for the day that it's due or just get by and I want to get more on top of things and start working in advance again. So that's going to be my goal for the business side of things. I know it's not super specific, but sometimes you're trying to achieve more of a feeling and I've been doing this for so long. I know what it takes to get back ahead and I also don't want to bore you with all of the details, but do know that whenever I make a goal that sounds even a little bit loosey-goosey like that, there are key objectives that I need to do on the back end to reach that goal and reach that milestone. If you have worked through SMART goals, S-M-A-R-T goals, they're supposed to be like specific, measurable, all of those components that make a goal something that you can actually achieve. So now I think we should move on to the products that I was able to use up and therefore declutter. But quickly before I move on to that, I still have been doing the sophisticated declutter, the six month decluttering challenge that I'm running across all social media platforms, as well as I have my sophisticated declutter ebook. If you want to head to my website, you can always check that out and you can do it at your own pace but we have just finished up the mudroom and we did the living room over the past month. We are now into the kitchen, which is very exciting and takes a whole lot of energy. That's also a big place that my time is gonna be focused on over the next month and until we finish the sophisticated declutter. So working through the pantry this past week and we have our fridge and our freezer and all other things in the kitchen. So I'm not gonna share other things that I've decluttered through the house this month because I have been sharing that on Instagram and throughout other YouTube videos, but I have some home products that I was able to use up. I mentioned in the previous video that I got rid of part of my force of nature system. This is the bottle that went with it. And because I am done using force of nature cleaners, just because of how bulky it is, and I have so many other cleaning products to work through, I am going to get rid of the spray bottle that goes with it. Are looking for a new cleaner. I do love this one. So check them out. Buy my hand soaps in bulk as much as I can and was able to use up this metal method gel hand wash this was the sweet sweet water scent and to be honest with you i really do like it but i get bored of scents so i will probably seek out a different hand soap just to mix it up a little bit okay now this one is the branch basics it's the concentrate i at this point pretty much exclusively use branch basics for my laundry detergent again because i have so many other cleaning products i don't need to use it as my basic cleaner because a lot of times companies send me cleaning products just because of the nature of what i do and i want to work through those and i love using this as laundry detergent so now that i'm done with this i have repurchased it i don't know maybe four times and i can't remember how many bottles it doesn't really say exactly how many bottles of laundry detergent it says one bottle of laundry detergent three foaming bottles, three streak-free bottles, three bathroom bottles, and three all-purpose bottles, but it doesn't say how many laundry bottles it'll make if you just use it for that. I'm thinking before I go ahead and repurchase this, let me know in the comments below if you have some other laundry detergent that is scent free and isn't full of a bunch of harsh chemicals that you think I should give a try and maybe I will take a pause on the brand's basics and give something else a shot. So let me know what you think. That's it for home products. I did have one other cleaner and I don't have the wrapper for it because Jim accidentally threw it away because it's garbage. It's weird that I keep garbage to show you. So that is gone, but I did use up one little cleaner refill that I filled up a glass spray bottle with. So it was just a little teeny piece of paper. I have a fair amount of bathroom products this month. A lot of little things, which is kind of fun to work through. One big one this dr teal's pure epsom salt soaking solution it is the relax and relief eucalyptus and spearmint and oh my goodness this stuff is strong but really great when you have sore muscles or want to have a relaxing bath dr teal's really like a lot of their bath products mostly because they're just affordable and they smell great i don't think they're maybe like the most natural i'm not sure it could just be epsom salt and essential oils but it is so, so strong in the scent. So if you're sensitive to scents, I probably wouldn't recommend it. I had a little bit of a heat protectant that I put into a reusable bottle and the reusable bottle was breaking. So I'm decluttering the bottle itself and I used up the last little bit of the heat protectant. I've had it for so long. I don't even know what brand it was because I put it in here. So can't really tell you much about it. I 
used up the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. These are the Ultra Soft Cleansing Towelettes. I have to rave about these. I've used so many makeup wipes before, and these ones I actually like. I don't think I can ever say about makeup wipes that I specifically like them. They mostly just wipe off my makeup. Sometimes they leave my face feeling a little bit greasy, but these ones, I think they smell great and they do a pretty good job of getting my makeup off. So I genuinely like these ones and was very surprised. I was trying to wean myself off of these, but after trying these, I did buy a couple more packs. So I have them as backups when I'm lazy and don't wanna wash my face and just wanna wipe off my face and use one of these. So if you are looking for makeup wipes, maybe give those ones a try. I have my Sensodyne toothpaste. Nothing great to report there. My teeth don't feel sensitive, so it must be working. A uh, whole thing of the cotton rounds. I use these for toner as well as to take off my nail polish and use it for nail polish remover. I used up a couple of little masks here. This was my last sheet mask. I don't have any more. I have, I think only one uh, like mud clay mask left and that's all I have for masks maybe a couple of samples but that's it and this was Burt's Bees I honestly did not like this would not recommend it didn't seem to do anything for me I have a bunch of these Patchology Happy Place Let's see they are tea infused aromatherapy eye gels same thing I don't know if these help they did feel nice Jim walked in and was like, what is on your face? Because they're pink and sparkly. They're really cute. Um, and they do actually kind of calm. I can't tell if they depuff or anything or change the darkness, but they are relaxing and feel nice. I used to have a Hula bronzer. This bronzer was so popular a long while back, but still sell it. And it is one of their smaller sizes, but working through any powder makeup product takes forever. I'm so proud of myself for using up a bronzer and getting one of those out of my collection. I also used up this pH bond. This is from the brand Gelish. This is what I put on my nails before I do a gel manicure and it helps it bond to my nails a little bit better. So that is gone. And then I used up an eye cream. Eye creams take forever to use up and this was a decent size. It is Dr. Barber. I don't think this brand is cheap. My mom gave me some of these. It does say sample size, but regardless, even those tiny little things of eye cream take forever to use up. And this was specifically just a day eye cream. So it took me a long time. Very happy to have that out of my collection. And that's it. But that is a fair amount of stuff that I can get out of my bathroom. I'm continuing to declutter that way, focusing on one product at a time. So when I use a bronzer, I'm really trying to use this specific bronzer until it's gone and I have one last thing and can focus on the next one. I do every now and then let myself stray around and use other products and play around with makeup and other products in my bathroom as well as throughout my house cleaning, all of that stuff, but I try and focus on specific things to use them up and declutter that way, which is just kind of fun and it's really satisfying to hold on to your trash, though it's weird, and reflect and look back on all the things that you can throw out. Just try and line it up with your trash day so you don't, like I'm doing today, trash day was yesterday, so now I have a bunch of trash that I missed the garbage day for. But anyway, that is it for today's video and today's monthly reset. I'm so excited for the month of April. Also, maybe let me know in the comments below one thing you are looking forward to over the next month or a goal that you have. I would love to hear more about what you have coming up in April. But with that, I will see you all later. Bye.